Let's start the lesson on writing in academic style, formal language. We will begin with the introduction with formal language in academic writing, and we will move on to ways to formal language for academic style. We will have a comprehension check in the end. Let's start with writing in academic style with formal language. In terms of academic writing, it is important to stay objective and formal. It is suggested to use formal language to accurately convey ideas and also gain trust from the readers. We can do this by avoiding personal pronouns, emotional languages, and informal languages. Then. We'll move on to ways to write with formal language. In order to be formal, academic writing should not appeal to readers' emotions, and to do so, writers need to be detached and be objective by following the rules. First, avoid using judgmental and emotional language. Next, avoid using phrasal verbs. Finally. Avoid using contractions, weak words, and slangs. Look at the sentences here. The first one, "Absolutely never," is an emotive writing. In academic writing, the language used is suggested to be more objective, so we can use hedging phrases like "It seems that." Hedging includes model verbs, verbs, adjectives. And adverbs, as the examples here. We should avoid using the phrases and words like strongly, awful, extremely, without a doubt, and in fact, etc. In academic writing, because those usages are too judgmental and emotional. Second, avoid using phrasal verbs. As they are commonly used in spoken English, compare the two sentences here. Keep on and looking into sound colloquial, so we need to modify them into continue and investigate. It will make the writing look more academic and professional. To avoid using phrasal verbs. We can replace them with one equivalent word. Let's look at the phrasal verbs here. Do you know how to modify the phrasal verbs into a more academic style of writing? Good. We can replace these phrasal verbs into those one-word equivalent. Third, avoid contractions. Contractions are acceptable in daily conversation. And informal writing, but try to avoid using them in academic writing. Fourth, avoid weak words, words like good, bad, nowadays, and big. Only convey vague ideas and are not specific enough. In academic writing, we should try to present specific ideas with more concrete images to our readers. By using words on the right column will help us to convey ideas with more concrete images. So we can use positive and beneficial to replace good, substantial, and ample instead of big. We also need to avoid slants, which are also too informal. To make our writing look more professional and academic. We may use resemble or akin to instead of kind of like. Okay, let's check how much we've learned. Choose the correct statements about academic writing style. Good. The first three are correct statements about academic style. In academic writing, being brief is important. But we don't use contractions, nor do we use weak words. Do you get it right? Try to write down the equivalent word to the informal phrasal verbs. Okay, good job. 
We can change go up to increase, go down to decrease, and keep an eye on to observe. Okay, let's check how much we've learned. Which sentence follows the academic style in writing? Yes, the answer is D. It uses specific word choices in recent years to limit the scope and use the formal word substantially. Option A does not follow academic style because absolutely never is too emotive and not objective. B uses informal phrases, keep on and looking into. C uses the contraction form doesn't. So, the best option is D. Did you get it right? Try to write down the specific words to replace the weak words. Good job! We can replace good with positive, nowadays with recently, and get with acquire. Okay, let's have a quick review of today's lesson. Academic writing should always be objective, impersonal, and formal. To stay formal, academic writing shouldn't appeal to readers' emotions. And we can avoid this by eliminating using judgmental and emotional languages, phrasal verbs, contractions, and weak words and slings. Thank you for joining us. This online course is founded by the Ministry of Education.